Schools across rural South Africa have perilous and degrading pit latrines, a heritage of the apartheid era that campaigners say symbolizes inequality and government ineptitude. 12-year-old Dillian sustained an injury after he fell off the pit in one of the schools. He now knows nothing, even when you ask him of his age. Sometimes he says eight or nothing. So since the incident is no longer okay, he no longer knows. Mentally, is not okay. I feel the pain because my child will no longer be able to do anything. The, chief, the future of my child ended at the primary school. Successive government going back to Nelson Mandela have promised to eradicate the scorch. My son is 12 years old. He went to the very same school with Oradile. And as a parent, the incident that happened to Oradile, that he fell in the pit toilet, it touched me a lot. Because you, you, you turn the story, you put it on your side, thinking that Oradile is your child. You're going to be miserable every day. You're not really going to cope with that. The rudimentary toilet typically consists of a concrete slab on the ground with a drop of at least three meters deep. The fact that the government has had to be even dragged to court to deal with this issue of, of pit toilets, it shows you that you have a government that, that, that is failing in its obligations to protect human rights in such a way that it has to be dragged to court to deal with this particular problem. The last few years alone have seen the president promise more than twice to replace open latrines and schools. But deadlines for replacing them have come and gone leaving young children or a fine risk of falling in and drowning.